2002. Your mom says if you finish your homework, she'll take you to the card shop and or to Target to buy a couple Yu-Gi-Oh! card packs. And a new set has just released because it is June. Though I guess you wouldn't be in school if it was June, depending on where you live. I'm not sure. Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders came out in 2002, 20 years ago, uh, more than 20 years ago at this point at the time of recording. Released a lot of new cards to the game that really, really changed the game, and some of them that are still even being used today. And that's what we're taking a look at here. Now, we're not ranking these cards based on their meta viability or how good they are, even though I did just mention that. We are ranking these cards based on how much their market value is, how much they are worth right now on TCGPlayer.com. This is the third video in this series. The other two will be linked below. And just like I've said in the other two, uh, th this is by market price. That does not mean that there is not a lower priced version of this card, but that means that this card from this set typically sells at this price. And some of these older cards, you might not have a lot of people buying very often unless they're a really high commodity card. Also, few of the uh, appearances, few of the artworks on here, like Karibo here and um, uh, oh, it's not called Revolver Dragon. Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna be embarrassing. Yeah, this card, this this one. Um, I was thinking about Bo Borolod Savage Dragon, but that's a much new car newer card. Anyway, a couple of the artworks are not accurate to this set, but these are the prices for the original cards and the original artworks. Also, one uh, there are a couple cards listed uh, that are not on here, so those will be listed in the description, as well as Harpy Lady right here. If you have this one with the original artwork, it's going to be worth a lot more than the other one. Uh, which has a bit more of a conservative look to her uh, chest area. All right. Gate Guardian is the cover card for Metal Raiders, or actually, no, it's not. Metal Raiders, the cover card was, I think, Red Eyed Black Soul Dragon. But anyway, Gate Guardian, though, is available in, I believe, a Secret Rare, Ultra Rare, something like that. It's worth more than $25 if you have one. So if you have your old Yu Gi Oh cards lying around, or your brothers, or your boyfriends, or your sons, somehow, I guess, uh, yeah, check for a Gate Guardian. Could be worth more than $25. These ones at the top generally retain their value as we get down, not so much. Red Eyes, Black Skull Dragon, Time Wizard, Solemn Judgment, and Mirror Force also all go between $10 and $25. Between $2 and $10, we have some of these cards I've already mentioned, as well as the three parts of Gate Guardians, Sui Jin, Kaze Jin, um, and uh, the, the Thunder one. We also have the original Thunder Dragon and Thunder uh, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Magic Jammer, a couple of random cards like that. I actually have no idea why this card is up here, but I double-checked it is worth that much. So if you have this one lying around, I could not even tell you its name. But yeah, also Thousand Dragon up here. Down in the $1 to $2 section, actually less cards than before. So Metal Raiders on average going to be a more valuable series than the starter deck. So if you have any of these cards where the serial number says uh, MRD, I believe is the abbreviation, uh, Metal Raiders that is, definitely check to see if you have some of these, especially the ones at the top. A couple other cards you might want to watch out for are Sangan, Dark Elf, Magician of Faith, uh, Turtle Catapult, uh, Tribute to the to the Doomed, I think that's what that's called. And then after that you're getting underneath a dollar, which is still a fair bit of valuable cards, but at the bottom you see here a good bit of cards left down there. They're worth 13 cents or so. Um, we're generally not seeing cards worth less than 10 cents in these original sets just because they are typically somewhat hard to find but I'm not sure the demand is there for them. Also, fun fact, Blacklands Fire Dragon here was the first Yu-Gi-Oh card I ever owned. I was given this by a friend in school in second grade prior to ever buying a set. Also, in third grade, somebody had a Japanese version of this card, which, let's just say, did not look the same. Uh, had a bit of a more revealing outfit. So, a couple memories for me here. You may have memories on these cards. Hopefully, they're more wholesome than mine. But with all that said, guys, these, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders, the second booster set of the series from 20 years ago. These are what the cards are worth. Double check your sets, and if you want to see more like this, like the video, comment, let me know. Don't know how these videos are going to be doing. I'm uploading all three of them the same day, so we're going to go ahead and see how they do. Uh, with all that said, go, though, guys, if you're still listening, I appreciate you watching, and I'll be back with more tier lists, this or something else, tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that. Because this is the guy who makes random tier lists, Yada yada, and I'm signing out.